it's Christy and I am going to have some background um, sounds coming from the other side of this wall where my husband is working on grouting our shower but in the meantime hopefully you can hear me fine and I want to show you because this is one of my favorite shoe boxes it's for a boy 10 to 14 you could also do I think most of the same things other than the size of the clothes for five to nine so this is uh, the first thing that's going in this ruler it's going to go in diagonal and i love i've coordinated everything with this shirt that a lot of us have gotten this soccer shirt from the children's place so that was really where i worked with the colors surrounding um, that shirt and it really came out cute i think so i am going to put in next the empty pencil pouch i've put most of the pencil um, pouch things inside the water bottle and then I'll go ahead and put the um, bandana which is orange too. Get, I got a lot of things here that were able to be coordinated, color coordinated. Here's the washcloth and that's going to just go in flat. The dino um, coloring book you can, those are great for the 10 to 14 year olds. You can print those out on blessings in the shoebox.com and I'm gonna keep going with the flat things first. Uh, this is a nice backpack, string backpack, and I'm gonna put that flat down here. I'm gonna, bend, I'm gonna fold it a little better. There we go. Put the ropes in on the sides. Okay, I can bring it closer now so you can see I have this really cool notebook, it's from um, Dollar Tree. I like that it's dinosaur. I have a plush dinosaur that I'll put, it, put in today too. So dinosaurs and soccer. Let's see if I'm gonna put this, I'm trying to remember where I put everything when I got it in. So I'm gonna put it up here and I know I have this flat marble maze fidget toy that Michelle made. Those are fun. So I'm going to fold that up a little bit and put it on top of this little bookcase, book, um, notebook. And then this is going to fit right over here. I think I'll put the colored pencils in there. And I'm going to show you now what's, what's in the water bottle. So I'll take out this soccer ball fidget spinner is here and an orange muscle car i'm going to quickly try to get all those all these back in this is the pocket prayer oh i love these that michelle made it can fit right in so easily here is a little organza bag with a lot of friendship bracelets in it Here's another organza bag. This one has six, one, two, three, five dice in it. And here's another. These are, this is a little bag with the um, needles in it for the soccer ball. Um, he has, let's see, lots of writing utensils. We have a highlighter. This is a cool shark pen, a black pen, red pen. The pencils are, are, are all sharpened. And let's see what else is in here quickly. A foldable toothbrush, which is so handy. A nice spoon, I think those are bamboo. Another sharpened pencil. We have a multi-pen in there. And this is a blue ink pen with a cap. I have his little hygiene kit with the directions, nail files and the nail clippers. A lot of things can fit in a water bottle. Um, here's a little whistle on a string. A few more little things here. Some pencil top erasers. A really nice metal pencil sharpener and the big pink eraser. So I'm going to put these things back in real quick. I hope that you'll share in the comments below um, if you've been making your shoe boxes yet or if you're still collecting um, items for your shoe boxes, uh, what your sales that you're finding. I just um, 
know that I can learn from you just as much as you learn from me. I love getting your comments. So don't, um, try not to click out of here until you've given me a comment because I really uh, love to get your comments. I've got almost everything back in. Let's see. The needles, the dice. I love the convenience and the beauty of the, using the organza bags. It really makes for a nice um, gift when you do things, special things like that. Put the prayer pocket cross in there and here's the fidget toy. I might be able to, that all went in really easily. I wonder if I can get anything else in there. The comb goes in there. Okay, I think everything else is bigger. I, I might be able to get the socks. These socks can go in. I roll them up. Okay. All right, I did great with that. Now I'm gonna put the water bottle in and I'm gonna do it on this side. Now, do you know it's gonna go over here? That is I also want to get these scissors in, so I might put the scissors in right there. Okay, hopefully that will work. Now I'm going to, I inside the soccer ball, it's always good to protect the bladder to put something inside the water bottles, I mean the um, soccer ball so it doesn't get, um, There's a, you don't want it to get over squished, the bladder could be damaged that way. So I have in there the pump and his really nice pair of Old Navy underwear. I just love these and the color matches too. So I got these in, a, in sets. So I'm gonna roll that up to help protect the bladder. I'm gonna put the pump in there. I think I can put this twine in here too that will help protect it. And then I can go ahead and add, this is one of my 107 rubber bands and put it over the ball. I like to kind of flatten it, flatten out the rubber band so it's a little bit wider on here. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to put that in here, see how it fits. It's definitely tight, but there's a little give still, so that's good. I have, oh, his shirt. I'm going to roll it up and oh, I'm gonna push this down here and then I'll put the shirt right here in the corner. Let's see if I can. Okay, that looks good. I have a foldable frisbee that can fit right over there. These are orange and blue carabiners, little carabiners. They are great for boys' shoebox. So I got that wound up here, put it down in. And here is room for the plush dinosaur. Even older boys and enjoy a plush. So we put try to put a plush in all of our boxes. Oh, look, his little head sticking out. Now we're left with one flip-flop. So the way I got it in before was I put it on top flat. So now this is what it looks like. Let's see if we can get the lid on. Let's see. If I do this, I, it is a two rubber band box for sure. But yes, you can see when I push it down, I'm getting a little bulge, but it definitely, once it gets the rubber bands on, will be fine. So I don't even think I'm going to worry about showing you. In fact, okay, I might be able to do it this way might even give me more give. Ah, it's about the same. 
So there you go. This is how I was able to pack so much in a shoe box. Soccer ball, flip flops, uh, colored pencils, shirt, sock I said soccer ball, water bottle, and all the school supplies, plush, a plush dino, a big, I don't know if you noticed, but my scissors were big. Uh, I put those in with all the um, older kids this time. So there you have it. Hopefully that was helpful and you were encouraged about um, making sure you make the most of your room and your shoe boxes. And for the older kids, I'll let you know too, somebody's gonna ask, these are six, seven uh, men's flip flops. So that brings us to the end of this video. Hopefully you are inspired and blessed by seeing how much you can get in a shoe box for the children. It may be the one gift that they receive um, their whole lifetime to have a gift you want to make sure it's nice and full when you send it. So God bless you. Thank you for watching and bye for now.